We approximate breathing action with these animal lungs. The interior of the jar represents the chest cavity. This magnified cross-section of lung tissue shows its porous nature, the light portions being air sacs with darker walls between. Oxygen molecules are represented in white, carbon dioxide in black. The action of normal breathing is controlled by pairs of motor nerves which are governed by a center in the medulla of the brain and which branch out from the spinal cord. However, if the phrenic nerves are cut, the breathing movements of the diaphragm stop, although impulses still travel from the medulla down to the point of the cut. This is readily demonstrated in an anesthetized animal. Note the phrenic nerve and the movements of the diaphragm which cease when the nerve is cut. If the motor center in the medulla is severed, all of both nervous and muscular activity related to respiration ceases. To demonstrate this fact, we show here an animal rebreathing air from a closed tank. We know that available oxygen is diminishing and that carbon dioxide is accumulating. Finally, with plenty of oxygen, but a high proportion of carbon dioxide artificially administered, we note an immediate and marked increase in breathing. We therefore conclude that the carbon dioxide content of the body, produced more rapidly by the body during exercise, for example, regulates the rate and depth of breathing. Crippling of the breathing apparatus by inhalation of carbon